guess I'll do an intro since it's been a minute. <clears throat> Welcome back to Talking Noise. It has been way too damn long. I don't even know how long ago we did the last episode. I'm pretty sure back in September, but so far the podcast has still been going good. Kojak, what have you been up to? You know me, man. Steady out here grinding. Trying to make something of my career. Trying to make it happen. Being patient on the, you know, the actual filming dates and shit like that. Nothing too difficult. Cool little Christmas for my daughter. Had a good time. Yeah, I was about to, about to ask, how was your holiday? But you just answered it. <laughs> how was yours? Um, it went pretty good. I uh, woke up, opened up some gifts, got got a bunch of cool stuff. It was mainly more practical stuff because my family was like, they understand how I don't feel really like buy like use useless things like they usually buy me like clothes and stuff because they know that if it's anything i buy it's usually stuff i need and then one of my coworkers gave me a three pound chocolate bar so i'm still making my way through that thing so so you're just gonna be a fat ass very soon no no i stay working out it's just i gotta i gotta incorporate it <laughs> it's a lot of chocolate yeah three pounds of hershey i'm like okay <laughs> shit time me out i mean I hate the internet sometimes. Anyway. So what's new? What, what's the most recent shit you've been watching? What you've been looking at? Watching? What? Shoot. I guess I've been like expanding outside of like American TV shows and stuff and movies because I've been, I looked at uh, this one show. It's, I think, Norwegian or... Turkish, I can't remember which one, but um, here it translates to hot school, but it's a really interesting concept. A lot of interest, really good acting, too. It's pretty interesting. What is it called? Hot school. Well, that's what it is in English. Uh, I've been watching um, a Norwegian show as well, actually, called uh, Ragnarok. I actually heard of that. Shit's dope. Two seasons. That motherfucker who plays like the Thor character got big as hell in the second season. He, like it was, it was dramatic. He got big as hell. <laughs> Pretty lit though. I, I, it's really interesting to see different ways that they uh, shoot things in different countries because some of the shots, that, shot choices they make is not something I'm really familiar with. Or I, I would never do. Kind of, yeah. kind of cool. Yeah, it's wild to see these things because first thing I'm sitting here, I'm watching because uh, I recently bought Donnie Darko 4K theatrical and director's cut and then I also bought Running Man so I was like analyzing a bunch of old movies just for the hell of it to see what they, they did because sometimes the old movies hold up better than new movies. I mean... I still think interesting. It's, and it's it's irritating. Because the budgets keep going up, but the quality of film isn't. And it's just like, damn, bro. I'll take a 90s big budget and make like 12 to 13 different shows with that shit. What are y'all doing? <laughs> For real. <laughs> what are y'all doing? Like, I understand you guys want the craziest sets and shit like that, bro. It's not even that deep. Just rent a warehouse and rebuild the warehouse. Y'all, y'all just doing too much. Two hundred and fifty million dollars, and there's no special effects. What the fuck are y'all doing? Yeah, it's usually how it goes. Now, what kind of world is this? This? Oh, okay, okay. I got a map. All right, texture pack. I see you. Yeah, about a realistic textures thing. So everything's supposed to be a little bit more realistic. So now you said you. Oh, okay, you said you've been here before. So this is one of your old worlds. Yeah, me, Side, Panda, one of my brothers, and then a few of my friends from my Discord that I know in real life, they uh, they all were on here. So there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> we built all of this. Did you um, get to play uh, Gotham Knights? I watched it because I was scared for it. Because people, like, 
yes, I know not to trust like rating and crits. So, like it's okay, but yes, there was bugs and stuff. But like I feel like overall the story is good. But I'm not sure I want to pay like seventy dollars on a very short story game where it's not like Arkham City or Arkham Asylum where there's you go back, you find this. I mean, you can do that, but it's like it kind of like forces your hand to play the story. So. Look at your face, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so I've um I watched the the gameplay of it and I think it's good as for what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like I guess I didn't expect anything different. I don't know if people expected. You know what I mean? Like I, yeah. I got it thoroughly what I expected it to be. Um, but see, I went and got that Pokemon because people were saying it was trash. That's Cap. Scarlet and Violet. Oh yeah, yeah. that's Cap. I I bought Double Pack, the first Pokemon I think I've ever gotten both games just to see the difference. Did you Did you think it was ass? No, actually, I feel like they did really good, but I'm just saying, like, Game Freak needs to stop doing it with, like, the dumb evolutions. Like, just bring back Mega Evolution, and then we're set. <laughs> okay, you're talking about the gimmicks, like the Terrestrialize and all that bullshit. Yeah, like, we don't we don't necessarily need that. You, Pokemon doesn't need that to be a Pokemon game. Like, they did it just fine with, like, the open world, catch whatever Pokemon. Yeah, and... I didn't think they needed it either. I mean... I'm not going to be mad about it, but at the same time, it really was like a waste. It was really a waste. Yeah. Because it's like, man, this is making the battle too long. And I like the raid dens, you know what I'm saying? I think that shit's pretty cool. I like that mechanic. And I, it would make sense if it's only in that mechanic, you know, kind of like Gigantamax or whatever. But like, I'm not, I'm not about to do it. I'm not about to put all my time and like energy into all of that shit. I enjoy it for what it is, and I'm going to, you know, stick with it that way. But other than that, we're not, we're not dealing with that. I'd much rather just run around and catch what I want to catch. I'm disappointed because I didn't get to play Arceus. So I was hoping they would have kept that mechanic in this because people were just running around catching shit. Not the same thing here. You got to battle shit. And, like, that's cool and all. It's not a bad mechanic. You can play with the camera during the battle. That's cute. I thought that was finally like I was like, oh, finally we can actually see the world around us and not just like Son of a bitch. A Dang, I I just witnessed that. He cornered me, motherfucker. I went to prison yeah, for a night and he got me. God damn! Whoa. Yeah, for some reason this world is just like overly hostile. I I don't know what I did when I made this world, but <laughs> everything will try to kill you. Bro, what the fuck? Sp Whoa, look at that spider. Whoa, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, that's why I like the realistic texture pack. It actually makes crap, like, Bro, terrifying. Skeleton. Holy fuck, let me go. Bro, why do you live in the forest? What's wrong with you people? I don't know, this isn't, like, these houses, this big wooden one on top is sides. My sister built this entire dock. It was me, her, and one of her best friends that built this thing and she has like a whole house down here I'm gonna the mine's up in there. Gonna, gonna rob her <laughs> this her little skit right here okay females in damn details for real <laughs> okay okay I see what she was trying to go for Ah, yes, the treasure room. There's nothing in these chests. Of course not. Damn you, Pam. Yeah, I forgot about the Ozark. She didn't play much, but... Uh... Oh, right here. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to rob her. I'm just going to be fucking... I'm, I'm going to wait until she come back. I'll see her one day. <laughs> see <you> one day. <laughs> this shit is not loading, though. Is the world meant to do this? Oh, yeah, it does. It takes a little bit longer to load while the... Uh texture packs on for some people cause all this shit gotta my, generate yeah cause my family in New Mexico they're like why does it take long to load it's like it's cause you're on Playstation and you're trying to run this <laughs> so 
This shit's wild. Man, I'm getting my ass beat now. What the hell is beating my ass now? Raspberry bush. <laughs> oh, I can't even see it. Okay, all right. This is a nightmare. Getting fucked up. Can't see the world. If I need to, I can always start another. <laughs> no, that's fine. It's a bit dramatic, but it will, will be strong. See what I mean? Yeah, like, like, you've been in school? Like you, you, I mean, I know you ain't been in school for the fucking uh, season or whatever, but like your last semester was cool? Yes, and I'm, I just started the second semester back on Thursday, dude. It's feels good to have passed all my classes, and all I have to do is pass, and I'm graduated. That's how it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, freaking saving up money for plane tickets for my girlfriend and not much going on, really. We are going. Damn it, man. Wherever we want. <laughs> Where do you want to go? See, I don't really, because I've been literally all over the United States, and I can't necessarily go out of country because I haven't got my passport yet. Right. I haven't had time to go. So it's really up to her because I told her I've literally been everywhere. So. Oh. You're so nice. Because there are limits, man. Some places you can't go too many times. Yeah, I, I know that for sure. <laughs> Zombies. Everybody's. Oh, buddy, you moving fast? Okay. Bet that yeah, everybody's. Texas. Oh, Texas. Shit. Bro, like that texture on your fucking face is weird. Oh, the little, like, shadow fire demon thingy? <laughs> yeah. Enderman. Nope. What the hell? Yep. Ah, he's being. <laughs> right. But yeah, freaking. Like, movies wise, as I said, like, because I watched The Running Man. And I love Arnold because I watch a lot of his interviews. Like, the man himself was always like, people need to realize how tough acting was back then because back then they didn't want anybody of my, like, build because I was freaking huge. Yep. When he was like, but then all these people for action movies wanted me and they're like and then when you especially when you did Conan he's like Keith just said that's one of his favorites or something because like the director wanted him for that since he had the accent and he felt like it would fit for that character so and then Arnold did most of his stunts back in the day too because nobody was as big as him so he had to do them himself and, and that's why I think is unique because he was like Whenever people tell me I can't do it, I'm going to do it anyways just to prove them wrong, and it usually ends up going well. And people should do the same and keep an open mind like that. I was like, dang. <laughs> One must be careful. Yeah. See, this industry is ruthless, and there's a reason, you know what I'm saying, the action movie star is dying, if you will. And The Rock is really fucking up right now because... He's trying to take on DC by himself. He got to chill out. Yeah, because what didn't he say? Didn't he speak out against James Gunn removing Henry Cavill? Yes. Yeah, I was like, dude, you don't, you don't get to say that they're the directors. You're not. <laughs> I mean, he can say what he wants. You know what I'm saying? He's allowed to feel how he feels, but you know, shit comes with consequences. Yeah. They don't give a fuck how big of a name you are. You're still going to die one day, bro. You're not the industry. Mm hmm What is that? Looks like copper. Yeah. Bro, you getting your ass whooped. Yeah, no, I fell in a hole, and then two creepers fell in, and so did three zombies. And that was game. You know, 
it's hard. I, that one thing I hate about this texture pack, it makes freaking like the shading a little bit realistic. So when it's nighttime, I literally can't see squat. Mm. I actually have no idea where the fuck I am. Nor do I, because I don't know where my map is. Well, the shit's been loaded, so. Half the world is gone. I'm pretty sure this is where I was. Okay, yeah, yep, got it. Yeah, and I think what? Damn. When you watch this footage back, when you watch this footage back, that shit not gonna make no fucking sense at all. I hope so. <laughs> Bro. Okay, I see you over there, but I'm stuck in a ditch with a spider. Okay, you're over there. Yeah, don't come down here. There's just a massive crater from where I got blown up. No, I'm going back to the fucking mines to get my shit back. But, yeah, freaking... There's been a lot, and I feel like movie-wise last year, there wasn't a whole lot until, like, the end of the year, if you ask me. Well, okay. I feel like it was a year of making because there was a whole year off. I mean, that's true, too. Freaking COVID going away and people getting the vaccine. Everybody was like, oh, yeah. yeah. To me, we weren't really seeing the movies from the pandemic. Uh, until Black Panther came out. Yeah, that's right. No, I see the yeah. ass motherfucker. I have high hopes for uh, Ant Man, but did you see the menu? The menu. Yeah. For what? No, like it's the movie is called the menu, and it it's a reef has refines. Uh, Nicholas Holt, Anya Taylor Joy, and uh, John Leguizamo, and a bunch of other like famous actors, and it's a really good movie that came out back in November. It's definitely one of my favorites now because of the the story it tells. Because what I've noticed here, because whenever people come out of that movie, they'd be like, "Man, I hated that movie. I didn't understand it." But then there'd be people that are like me, who's been through crap in life and who's like worked jobs that barely pay anything and just tired of people they're like man that movie was fantastic <laughs> and then I watched the movie for myself and it's definitely like cause what my friend we all call him Jesus at my work because that's what he looks like so me and him virtually do everything at my job and we we saw it maybe over like six times six just times my, it's that good yeah Yes. <laughs> God damn. Because we sat there. He was like, yeah, people that are high class who have never been working class in their life and not like this movie because he really asked one of our managers to go and watch it. And she's like, yeah, I'll go watch it because she kept seeing me and him go watch it. And she's like, I didn't get it. And he's like, and that's how I know she's not working class like at all. I was like, okay. <laughs> but he has a point though. Like most people that haven't been through crap in their life or have been like, misused by other people that don't really seem to grasp the movie at all. Yeah, that movie was awesome. They had a great score. I can't remember his name. He's the dude that did the work on Hereditary. He's an American saxophonist. He's 47. I'm trying to remember his name. Colin Stetson? Yeah, that's it. Yo ass no people. Yo ass be studying this industry. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> gotta <laughs> gotta be ready. <laughs> I feel that. But I yeah, that. that's that's, that's what I've always done. My family used to make fun of me. And they're like, "Why do you look so deep into this?" I'm like, "What if I want to do this one day?" They're like, "Whatever." And then now, it's what I'm slowly starting to do. <laughs> Hell, okay. Panda, she she got into it this year because she saw that I did all that crap, like the classes for film and whatnot last year, and then she took it this year. She's like. This is actually cool. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so they figure out what we really do. They're gonna be like, oh shit. Yep. Oh, wow. I think I can do that. Listen, you're years behind, honey. I mean, years <laughs> behind. 
Yeah, there's people I feel like they're getting injured too late. Oh yeah, Nicholas Holt. He's doing another movie in April with uh called Renfield in freaking Bro, Nicholas Cage is gonna be Dracula. I don't know why, but the trailer made him look really good. Like really, really good. Nick Cage is gonna be Dracula. Yes, the OG Dracula. <laughs> oh lord. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like he did it, though, because what they wanted in this story was, like, an outlandish Dracula. So, like, who can we hire? Nick Cage. <laughs> I mean, oh, shit. Yeah, careful. This is this is all my sister's stuff right here. This is where she goes mining 24-7. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I'm too old for this. I am, too. <laughs> That's where I just wake up and I boot up again. I'm like, what the hell is this? On the topic of games, though, like... Okay, so you know how Justin Roiland made his own game, uh, High on Life? Didn't know that, but go off. Okay, so... Came out fairly recently. And... So, I'm sitting here, right? I'm like, okay. If I know Justin Roiland, it's just gonna be him tacking on it. And... In the middle of this damn recording, I think my PlayStation just fucking died. Kind of fucking with me today, bro. Minecraft just stopped working. I don't know what happened. Yeah, it remembers episode three when we're talking smack on the Madden <laughs> and other <laughs> game. Speaking of episode three, it's actually been receiving a lot better than like any of the other episodes. Like a lot of people have been watching it. Really? Yeah, so I was I was surprised. I was like, oh shoot. <laughs> well shout out to the people for watching. Wasn't expecting y'all to actually give a damn about your boy, you know what I'm saying? It's hard out here for a pimp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're up to, we're almost up to like 30, 40 some odd people watching that. I'm like, look. Hey. Because like episode two, it gained seventeen viewers has not gone up ever since the episode's released. The first episode hasn't either, but the episode three, I noticed, just keeps gets getting larger, so it's probably one of the more popular ones. Well, I'm trying to find something to do on the game, but as of right now, I don't want to play none of this shit. <laughs> I got Warzone on here. One and two, I guess. I ain't played Warzone in so long. No, they shut down the first Warzone. They did what? They shut down the first Warzone. Oh, oh, that's why it's Modern Warfare. Oh, bitches. Okay. Yeah, no, they're like, oh, yeah, so we made Modern Warfare 2. We're going to start everything over, and then now we have Warzone 2. I was like, okay. (laughs) So what you got coming up? What you got to look forward to? I know you got to go to work today, but I'm talking about in the rest of the world. In the rest of the world? Shoot. Uh, There's been a lot, I guess. Like, because I already told you I'm saving up stuff so I can go out and do stuff with my girlfriend, get her out of North Carolina, do something. But then, like, there's not much other than I just do my own thing like cause I've been cause like I told you how I've been like learning how to make like the intros and then animated intros for YouTube and stuff I've been doing that and people have been asking me to make them I might, I might just start asking for money at this rate cause I, I've only made a few for my friends and then everybody else sees it they're like oh I want one I don't see why not I mean yeah especially as you learn to do learn to do it faster with like different color palettes and different motions and shit like that I don't see why yep. it wouldn't be a revenue resource for you. Yeah, that's true. And then, uh, 
been trying to bring it back with Twitch, been streaming Fallout 4. I literally ran through that game in like four hours. <laughs> as much as I want to hop on Twitch, bro, I just, I want it to be consistent. So that's why I haven't been streaming like at all because I just got shit to do. And yeah, um, I would feel like an asshole. Just, oh, I'm back, guys. And then fucking not nah, stream for a month. <laughs> yeah. I, I know that feeling because people are always like, yo, where's the stream at? I'm like, dude, I got a life like outside of this. Like, see, that's why I'm like kind of shifting more towards YouTube as well. It's just that, like, I can take my time with it. Right. But even then, like, people understand that they usually understand I have a life. There's that occasional, like, idiot that wants to be a jerk and it's just like, hey, what the hell? I thought you were going to do this. I'm like, hey, what the hell? I'm a human too. But. Usually how life goes, but other than that, I guess because as I said, Panda's learning. So once she once she learns about the how to shoot certain angles and crap and how to do lighting and stuff, oh yeah, we're we're doing some projects. <laughs> that's how it's supposed so to I'll, be. Yeah, because then I'll finally have somebody that's not just me trying to do crap. But yeah, there there hasn't been much. Haven't really missed out on much. But yeah, once again, got to apologize to the people that have been waiting on this episode for like five months now. <laughs> That's what it feels like. <laughs> yeah, it probably won't be that long again. Cause like, I don't really have like once the show starts um, shooting, we're gonna, they're gonna be chilling out in the rehearsals and shit. Nice. So hopefully, you know, we get done with the photo shoots and everything rather quickly. Cause I just don't have time for this shit. I saw I saw the trailer, and then nah, that's the old trailer. Oh, that's the old trailer. Yeah, that's the old trailer. Yeah, I commented on that, and I deleted it because then I had a flashback to episode three. They're like, "Hey, make sure they don't find out about <laughs> the podcast." I immediately delete what I freaking commented. <laughs> I was like, "Shoot, I don't want to get this man in trouble." No, 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 no. I'm a producer. I can't get in trouble for talking about the show. I can get I can get in trouble for giving you details on the scripts and shit, but I can't get in trouble for telling you about the show. No, it was something because we were talking about one of the actors or something on there, and I was like, oh, "Shoot!" Yeah. <laughs> uh, some people don't care. Anyway, it, it's 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 a lot when you start when you go on the other side from the acting shit and you see all the shit that happens behind the scenes, bro. This shit is like it's irritating. People fucking suck. I don't know. Especially if people screw up. Well, no, everybody thinks they're a diva. Everybody thinks they're a star. Oh, of course. Mm. And they keep forgetting we ain't nobody. We're all working on the same project. That means we are no better than the next person next to you. What are you talking about? <laughs> it, it really be like this. Mm. Yeah, just, mm. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, because my sister's like, because when she found out what you could do when I took like the film courses, right? She's like, oh my God, you can make movies and stuff. I'm like, you can do more than you can also act, do whatever. But that's that's if they want to, or if that's if you do your own project. So currently I've been I've been writing my own project. It's very ambitious, but it's probably not going to get me for like, until I'm probably in my, my 20s, if not 30s. <laughs> well, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Yeah. First time filmmaking grants are all, are all over the place, bro. Take advantage. That's yeah, true. You know what I'm saying? First time film festivals and shit like that, it's all there. That's for damn sure. <laughs> I mean, like you get a lot of you get a lot of love doing things like that. You know, um, you get into those rooms, you start meeting with those people, and those people, you know, they see your ambition. They want to make sure it stays because people tend to leave. You know, um, and you're good to go. You get to have yeah. the fun. You get to enjoy yourself. You get to enjoy your career. People they're gonna make sure that you're doing what you said you're gonna do. They're gonna hold you accountable to it. Like a mentorship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nothing's loading today. What the fuck? Uh, I'm getting too old. Damn. You're telling me, dude. To my house and shit. Dude, like a few months after our episode three, bro, immediately I mean, I went into class, right? 
a bunch of underclassmen are in there because it's like a mixed class for any classmen, depending on what year you want to take it. So all these kids up in here, because people were talking about like the original PlayStation and Xbox and Nintendo, bro, they're all laughing. They're like, bro, I know these weren't their original Xbox. I'm like, and they're like, just making fun of them. I'm like, damn, dude, you're making me feel old right here. <laughs> they will never understand. It's exactly what I told them. Like, you guys will never understand what the original crap was like back in the day. <laughs> this came alive when like Halo was popular, right? They'll never mm-hmm. understand the N64 days playing Goldeneye on that fucking Minecraft ass. <laughs> it's the Minecraft ass <laughs> graphics and just start yeah. fights with your friends. Bro, even the 360, like, shoot. Nah, fuck the 360. I mean, but you got to admit, though, with the 360, it did open, like, because it was mostly with some of the things, like, yeah, they broke down all the freaking time, but, like... That's it. That's they made need to be said. They break down all the time. What kind of shit is that? No, but I was going to say, they made the connect for it, which I guess, like, revolutionized, like, body tracking, I feel like. I mean, it introduced the weed. It's pretty much what got the weed happening. Bro, what the fuck? I know, but I'm talking about, like, full body because it's, like, it would censor, like, your, like, it would try to scan your body and line up, like, the dots of your joints so that way if you had your own character, it would, like, match your movement, like, completely. Like, you didn't need a controller enough. Like, you just use your hands and it's... Shoot, sometimes people use connects to, like, use body tracking. Like, they don't use it on, like, on the Xbox, but they're like, oh, yeah, it's a cheap camera you can use for body tracking. It's like, huh. All right, I'm going to get a round of my Fortnite on fucking PlayStation recorded, and we're going to see how this shit goes. <laughs> good luck. I don't even have that game. <laughs> I'm good on the Switch, but, you know, PlayStation a little bit different. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff. You ain't never played Fortnite? I know I have. It's just that I've already deleted. <laughs> I understand. My kid likes to play it, so I started playing it. Same thing in Minecraft. I was never going to get this game, and then he was like, "Dad." And then he never plays it. <laughs> now he plays this shit all the time. He wants to play with. He plays with me, my uncle, my uh, little cousin, and shit. He just playing with everybody. <laughs> Oh, okay, I was like, if this shit gonna be like this, we're not gonna be able to do this. All right, the timing is right. Okay, this shit's smooth. Wow, okay. Trash, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a fun portion to edit, I feel like. <laughs> I don't know. It's awesome. I'm leaving it. <laughs> this shit always says that I don't ever have no good connection. It always says that. Like, no matter what system I, I play on, this shit always says, oh, is that stupid ass arrow? Yeah. On the topic of like games and companies and like consoles and crap, I feel like Epic bites off more they can chew, more than they can chew because like they just get very ambitious with the games they make, I feel like. And then they don't think about the consequences of the crap that could happen when they implement certain things to their games. I mean, but I think Epic is doing a great job person especially because it's like a free to win game and you can really win this shit without getting any of the extra perks and shit the extra perks and shit don't really help you in a competitive way yeah mm-hmm. you know sure you can you know machine gun on somebody or whatever but that don't really make you a better player whereas like a lot of these games like oh you get a better unit if you pay for some shit nah I'm not trying to pay for nothing yeah that's for sure slap juice where did, okay. All right. We're going to call it slap juice. That's fruit. What's upstairs? All right. Okay. So I'm already catching the lag bug. All right. I know I sound annoying as fuck talking about some all right. <laughs> Ooh, 
bro. I got to say, though, side size have been on a really off tangent, bro. Man's got weirder <laughs> instead of smarter. <laughs> Why? What happened? He is, I don't know. He, I can't even, like, explain if I wanted. This dude just does, like, the most random crap, like, and I can't even, I say I can't explain it, but it's usually, like, a niche thing, like, the stuff that he be doing. Sounds like side. Yeah. He'd be re- he really be doing stuff for his age. He should not be doing that. I'm like, bro, you you shouldn't be doing that. Like, is he at truly all. Russian? Hmm? Is he truly Russian? No. <laughs> oh, okay. I was trying to say, like, bro, I don't know what they be doing over there. I wouldn't recommend talking about him, though, because, you know, we've learned. Bro, I know. And yeah, no, homies in Pennsylvania, I'm not scared of side. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? The last thing we need is his drunk ass uncle to be on the motherfucking mic. <laughs> yeah, no, like he be getting in fights with people in my server, but it's usually specific people. Which, <laughs> they won't they won't fight with you if you don't fight with them. But then sometimes they be going off talking about crap. I'm like, dude, don't don't <laughs> don't provoke them. I don't know. I don't, every time I hop on, this man has been kicked out the fucking server, and it's like, bro, what happened? How do you keep How do you keep getting kicked out? He keeps saying some seriously offensive stuff, but here's the thing. It's, it's usually because someone starts something because, uh, I remember one day he was on a call with me, but I don't think he realized he meant to call public. And so a bunch of people joined it. And cause he was telling me about how like his dad died of like a heart attack. Damn. And there's this one kid in my server that kept messing with him. And he's like, but at least I still have a dad. Like side was ready to go kill this kid. Yeah, see, bro, that, see, that's not even on side. Like you can't be saying shit like that. Yeah. And I, yeah, no, I don't get on side until he goes over the deep end with crap he should not be saying. But it's like when I usually sit down and talk to a person, I'm like, dude, I'm going to warn you now. You're lucky side so didn't do anything worse than what I'm doing because I'm telling you to cut the crap right now. Because if you don't, I'm not going to stop what's going to come to you. So that's what you're just chase bro down. But I really don't feel like fucking doing that shit. It's fine. I need a better weapon anyway. Shoot, what's Sid been up to? Because I only see the stuff he posts on Instagram. Like he was doing kickboxing and whatnot. Kickboxing? Now he does uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Yeah, jiu-jitsu. Um, he had a he had a super fight uh, the other day. That's, uh, that's what it was. About. Then what? Like a few weeks before that, he was at a concert. <laughs> um. He had actually he had an event for work, and they took oh, everything. Really? Shoot, dude, that man! I need to find out where this man works. <laughs> for Amazon. Shoot, I'm working for Amazon now. <laughs> he works for Amazon. So they just be handing out tickets for events and crap. Amazon takes very good care of their employees. I can't speak on no other company like that, but I know Amazon. They take care of them people, bro. Shoot. Reload. Yo, we got an 86 this man, yo. Kill this fool. What did Tory Lane say? Dance, bitch, dance. Anyway. (laughs) um, (laughs) I probably shouldn't have said that, but whatever. I'm leaving it in. (laughs) (laughs) That's probably going to be the intro clip. <laughs> hey. And it makes sense. Not for what the hell we talking about, but the, the people will appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. I keep getting the double lag back shit. I don't know where nobody is. I just keep following the dots. When they start shooting, I start going that direction. We just going to kill motherfuckers. I probably won't even win. I'm not trying to win. I'm trying to, you know, get my stats up, my KD up. Is that still a thing? Or am I just... I guess. No, because I check the stats. It still goes up, but just nobody asks anymore. Yeah, I just sit there. I'm like, wow, I really should not have played this game. (laughs) Got Gwen. Like... I'm trying to think of another topic. There was something I was thinking about I was going to talk about with you and Sid, but now Sid's not here, so I forgot. 
homie is like, I'm gonna go watch a three hour movie. I'm like, well, shoot. You say what? Yeah, no, I was like, homie decided today he's gonna go watch a three hour and 12 minute movie. Can't blame him, but like, shoot. Hope he enjoys it, or else that's a lot of time you just got off your life. Nah, see, he got a girlfriend. Oh, he got a girl? Oh, shoot. Yeah, that's what I said, too. And I'm one of his best friends, and I was like, bro, you got a girl? <laughs> when did you start doing shit like that? And that was literally like what the third episode we talked about the entire time. Well, be careful, <laughs> bro. Yep, see, I got a girlfriend, like an actual full fucking thing. Like it's kind of weird because it's Sid. <laughs> I was with all the gold because weapon nomadic. Yes, give me that. We'll take those. Oh, yeah, now I remember. So I've been, like, also dabbling in with, like, like sound editing and music editing. Because there's, like, a lot of old songs I feel like would be really good from, like, old games, early 90s, like, 2000s. And people don't even realize, like, how good they are for, like, the way they were made. So I'm just sitting here, like, don't fuck around yeah, in mean, trouble because Nintendo is harsh about that shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know that for a fact. That Mario sound, they'll take your ass down fast. You know, I ain't, I ain't using nothing Mario because I know that. Because if it's anything Mario, bro, I'm not trying to get Charles Martinet to freaking come up to my house with a shotgun and be like, hey, what were you doing? <laughs> Chief. <laughs> like, I'm like, hey, I wasn't trying nothing, bro. I'm just, I'm you know, doing y'all a favor. <laughs> You know what's crazy? Companies should be delighted to hear content creators use their content because it's free publicity. Yeah. Whatever audience they have. But instead, they're like, no, we don't want you using our music and blah, blah, blah. Like, bro, what is wrong with you? My brand's not telling the people that you sponsor me. I'm just using the fucking song. What are you mad about? You know, it's it's not just that even. It's also up to, like, the YouTube algorithm because literally there's been a lot of people talking about, like, how bad it is because, like, people can't even say certain words now because they hire somebody usually now to, like, moderate the video and depend what their uh, K on the video is going to be if they're, like, a part of, like, the ability to earn money. Like, they have more than a 1,000 subscribers who can oh, start making money. Shit. Yeah. And so people are always talking about like their CPM and how like it doesn't even matter what they try to bleep out. It's like they can say something totally terrible and it gets monetized, but they can't even say like the F word right. within their entire video or they lose their CPM. And like literally the CEO of YouTube has had been involved. Like I don't have CPM. I just know about this because a lot of people have been complaining about it. And that's an issue. Like, if everybody in the community knows that, that shouldn't be a thing. Because. <laughs> I put you up against real people in the beginning. There's no way. Cause, yeah. Yeah, because the bot is used to censoring stuff, but, like, it's gotten to the point to where, it, like, words that are just ridiculous, like, it's not even, like, an issue. They're just, like, making them lose money for it. And she's like, okay, that's actually stupid. <laughs> Well, I mean, how do you think they stay stay relevant? You gotta keep that money, bro. Yeah. The more people you know, cool. use the platform, they still get the advertisement money. Uh, Google still gets the advertisement money. Yeah. And, it, and it's wild because, like, okay, so this is why I don't get companies, right? game could be long since dead or a soundtrack has like the group of people that made it split up or something right and companies out here are like yeah we just want our money so we're going to sue you for the hell of it because that's how we roll no, like I feel like the only, 
Yeah, I feel like the only people that are allowed to justify that is people that make music themselves, like Colin Stetson. That man makes all the music by himself, for himself, or for a movie. He doesn't just... Because that crap... Like, if you're doing all that by yourself, that crap is not a cakewalk, I'll tell you what. And people out here are like, oh yeah, I'm monetizing it because I got nothing else to use. I'm like, really? So this is allowed, but us not using, like, companies that aren't even around anymore we we get the hammer <laughs> oh yeah you're a small creator you don't have the power enough to fight them about it mr beast you really want to go you really want to take on mr beast Oof. you better do a video about it one million dollars this guy can beat the crap out of him. <laughs> That's the kind of crap he'd do too. Like he'd be like, "Oh, you guys get this, or we're gonna do this today," and it's just like, "Bro, where's this money coming from?" <laughs> exactly, and they don't oh. like that shit. Like I don't even watch the guy, but like people be telling me about some of the crap he does. I'm like, "Bro, never in a million years could anyone like afford to actually be able to pull this off." Like, how in the hell are we doing this? <laughs> no cussing in his videos, bro. I mean that's true Like the thing but, is He makes content for kids Right And like It's really really short content But then there's always another video So when you're watching One Mr. Beast video You're gonna watch like Four or five Mr. Beast videos And see that's what I miss Cause like the golden age of YouTube I feel like it was like The early life Of the internet Like in right. early 2000 Because it was it was a lot harder to find crap that was bad like i mean bad as in like people purposely doing bad things because there's mainly forums what else was there i mean like pretty much every the internet was reddit yeah like the entire internet was just one big reddit and that was that was really it and i don't <laughs> think people realize that but now it's it's very different now yeah no people are like oh yeah we got Freaking uh yeah, just everything. Like they're like, Yeah, we can search up anything, we can find anything. There's a website that lets you do this, we can pirate stuff now. I'm not saying I pirate, but I'm like people be talking about how they willingly do this crap. Like take time off their life to go and be doing this. It's just like why? Huh? There's a YouTube video for everything. Yep. Bro, it has this shit has fall, trees falling and shit now. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this man is this man is trying to get that W. <laughs> I am actually. So it's, it's only eleven of us left. Ever since he left, I just booted up Mario, just something simple. <laughs> Where he at though? Shit. Where the hell? But yeah, crappy wild because like Yeah, fool, what the fuck? Back then, too, like, what? We didn't even think of the possibility of something like Amazon. Like, something as huge like Amazon. Now, Amazon's not real. That's a simulation. Yeah. Because if people had told me that when I was a kid, I'm like, nobody could ever be that rich. <laughs> Sheesh. But nah, bro. Like, this crap freaking stupid in the modern age, because people can get away with so much stuff, like... Like, especially at jobs now. Like, people told me it's just gotten absolutely freaking atrocious because... All right. So, recently, a lot of my friends got hired at my theater, right? Yep. So, my friend got hired. Then he hired a friend that's both me and his friend. But then... He, now, he's bringing all his friends from, like, Little Caesar and stuff, right? Because this is what they're telling me. The boss maybe comes once a month. Like, the place that runs the, the joint there. And, but they're telling me about how, like, they, they would and all every other employee would, like, not clean anything. And it was just unsanitary and they would just screw around and break stuff. Like, they smashed light bulbs because they're, they would be, like, throwing around freaking dough balls and they were heavy enough to, like, break the light bulbs and crap. Oh, somebody getting fired. 
No, that's the thing. No one got fired. Like the boss knew about it, but no one would ever tell because they were hiring literal 15 year olds without a work permit. Oh, so they're trying to get and, the business shut down is what it sounds like. Yeah, no. Yeah, Little Caesars. I don't care if you throw like, oh, you could have had free Little Caesars for life. Screw you. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> Caesars will never give you Little Caesars for life. They just, they just got a contract with the NFL. They're not doing that shit. Yeah. Yeah, they're never, they're never sponsoring anybody. I mean, sometimes they will, but like, who wants Little Caesars, bro? Like, honestly, honest to God, like, I'd rather have any other pizza. Is he shooting behind me? But straight up, dude. Little Caesars out here not caring about their company because they're telling me I have some other locations too. But yeah, they got literally their oldest manager. Okay, so this kid, right? That's one of my best friends when I moved here. He was born on the exact same day and year as me. Jesus, so meaning he's a twin. Essentially, yes, but he's wider than me. That's the thing. Because <laughs> people be looking at me, they don't even know I'm Hispanic until I talk about my dad. So. <laughs> But freaking, he was 16 at the time. I'm here like, damn. They really made you a manager. So yeah, all the managers were 16 or 15. Damn. And then they left. And they, and they and they made, okay, so my friend is, I'm not going to say his name, but he's telling me about how they hired a 14-year-old as a manager, yet he was there longer and he was older than this kid. And they're all like, yeah, we're going to make this 14-year-old a manager that we literally just hired. And I'm just over here. Get up for success for the rest of their life. Yeah. What so the real reason is it takes five years is because they don't actually do their job. Is that they hire these people and they don't want to do their job because no one, they, none of them has proper training. <sighs> Man, like. Hearing this crap kind of pisses me off because, like, they're all like, oh, yeah, we got to live so much stuff. We just take food. We just drink soda, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay. Like, literally, they told me one day these kids, right, like, literal, like, kids that looks like they're maybe in, like, third grade would go in there. And they ran past the counter and, like, into the kitchen. They wouldn't leave. And so they were, like, chasing these kids around the kitchen. And one of the managers just takes one of the kids up. Like, to show me the video, he just picks one of the kids up and just takes them outside and says, never come back inside. <laughs> like, dude, this... Okay, so the oldest manager they had there was maybe 16, but I'm literally older than everyone that was at that job. God damn. Like, I could have been a viable manager if they actually, you know, had morals, but seeing as they don't, it wouldn't have mattered. But, <laughs> but this crap was wild because this kid out here, right... He's running around in the kitchen. I just see the manager turn a corner, run, grab this kid, slings him over his shoulder, and just cussing at this kid. He's like, have you ever seen my damn store again, bro? I'm going to personally make sure you never, and I mean never, are able to go to any other Little Caesars locations. So I'm just like, okay. <laughs> so this is what's like at Little Caesars. Glad I work at a theater with m several managers. Mm. Well, that's how it's, hey, look, man, business is business. You can't be fucking up the business. But I got that dub. <laughs> nice. Uh, anyway. But yeah, bro. Go ahead and do it. Do an outro. Do an outro. It's been about an hour. You have a lot to edit. It's only 220. I mean, is there anything else you really want to talk about? That's 315 for me now. I mean, yeah, that's I true. I ain't got nothing I can talk about right now. <laughs> Not until something officially happens I can't really talk about it because I'm on the bitch but I can't until I know what's up <laughs> I'm on the bitch but I can't do it until I know what's up because as soon as I figure it out it's over with but yeah that's my yeah, phone call I got true. <laughs> okay. I mean or do it outro though I'm going to say a few things don't be a dick know how to do your job get a harness working job don't make minimum wage employees Lives hell because you never know what they're gonna freaking do. And uh, don't yeah. pay people minimum wage. What are we talking about? That's true. But yeah, you know what to do. Kojak four hundred seven. Always find me anywhere on the gaming shit. Games are two on Twitter. Sorry, we couldn't have sit on homie. Homie said I'm gonna go sit down for three hours and fourteen minutes. <laughs> you hating? It sounds like you hating. No, no, I'm just saying, like, dude. <laughs> 
because I can't tell you how many people left my theater or or like, bro, that's three hours and 14 minutes. I'm never getting back. Or I get the people like that movie is effing amazing. So it's, it's 50, 50 with Sid. Cause I swear if he comes on the next podcast episode, being like, bro, I wasted three hours and 14 minutes of my life. I do not want to hear it. (laughs) Sounds like Sid. (laughs) Like bro. Y'all take it easy. Yeah. Well, this was talking noise. This is dragon. I'm going to be editing this. Hope y'all have a great day. And uh, yeah. Happy late New Year's and happy late holiday season because uh, we didn't get to do anything for the past couple months. But yeah, holiday season not over. Valentine's Day is still coming. <laughs> 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 All right, man. Y'all take it easy. <laughs>